Okay, students, welcome back. And we are now getting ready to work our way into um, learning how to create portraits. And part of learning how to create portraits is really, really getting a fundamental strong idea of how to use value. We've been working on this. This is a pretty common thing. Back when we were doing the last packet, we did a value scale that was one through five. And this time, we're going to go 1 through 10. So you're going to have several different values between 1 and 10. This is number 1. This is number 2. As you're working through this packet, you're going to um, either be in class with the actual physical packet, or you're going to leave it behind, and you're going to go ahead and flip through the packet on um, your Canvas extension. It's going to be a saved PDF. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to look for the numbers. So there's number one, number two, number three is here. And it says nose A or nose B. So this is nose A and nose B. You're going to find number four. Four is a side angle nose. Five is the beginning of a closed mouth with a slight smile. So um, you're going to work your way through. There are going to be 20 drawings total. Some of these drawings are going to be full faces. Some of these drawings are going to be um, just a small section of a drawing. So this is just a small smiling mouth. Um, each of these drawings, I want you to aim at creating something about the size of the palm of your hand. So you're doing drawings that are about this big. I don't want drawings that are this big because when we start to do our rock star portrait, we're going to work large. Um, working large also forces you to really um, think about things. I also want you to very much consider um, really, really working on looking at how this looks, shading it properly. A lot of you have gotten a little bit lazy or have left things a little bit messy. And if we were in class, I would be able to push you. But when I don't see them until you turn them in, um, I can't push you. I will not accept it if you have left it scribbly and messy. I will mark that one wrong, and you'll have to go back and redo it if you want full credit. So just keep that in mind. You're going to want to do these in your sketchbook. I forgot my sketchbook at home, and I'm sitting at school today and decided that I have some time to go ahead and get started. So if this is the case for some of you, you don't happen to have your sketchbook with you, or maybe your sketchbook is all lined paper and you want to do this on unlined paper, um, you can go ahead and pull out some unlined paper. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half because it's going to be easier to staple it into my sketchbook. And so up here, I'm going to put my drawing number one. So I'm going to go ahead and write my name. I am also going to write my class period. Just so that if yours gets misplaced, we know how to find it. So here we have drawing number one. And this is going to be a 10 point value scam. So we've done these, I don't know how many times now. I need to draw myself a long, narrow one, like so. And here's going to be 10. Somewhere in the middle is going to be 5. This is going to be 1. Um, I'm going to go ahead and halfway between 5 and 10, I should have about an 8, a 7, I have a 9, a 6. I'm trying to kind of equally place these. That's why I'm kind of messing around with how I wrote that. So my one block is going to be white. My two block is going to be slightly lighter. Three block, four block, five block, six block, seven block, eight block, nine block, and my ten block. My ten block, you can see, is black. Now, the problem with the packet is Mr. Stratko and I make new copies of them every year. 
when you make a copy of a copy, it breaks it down and it starts to flatten out the images. So really, um, when you're looking at these, I have purposely tried to, if, if I copied them at full strength, they would almost be black and white. And so I've lightened them so that you can see the variations in here, you can start to see like that line right there becomes very, very, very weird when I over copy it. Um, so you're going to have to really kind of be cognizant when you're looking at the packet to know that, you know, maybe you pushed a little bit further. So I've colored my black as dark as I can. You can see that it's noticeably a little bit darker than this just because, like I said, it's just a copy. So nine is going to be a little bit lighter than 10. That is considerably too light. That level is probably somewhere in the five range. So I'm going to keep plugging away at this, making it just a little bit darker. And I might come in here this direction. And that's a pretty nice transition between those two. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. The slight problem with this is that graphite is shiny. And my computer screen might not be picking it. Okay, so from that direction, you can see the real dark and then the slightly not as dark. Um, I'm going to pick up 8 here, and 8 is going to be a little bit lighter than 9. Now, when I was in college, we had to do this. I had to do this several times throughout art in high school and art in college. And in college, our professor made us do, and everybody's going to go, <laughs> Our professor made us do 50 different. So that was well before that book ever came out. But yeah. So my eight here, I don't know if you can see it. My eight is a little bit lighter than the nine. My seven is going to be a little bit lighter than the eight. And I'm just going to continue to work my way across. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and continue this so that you can continue working, um, but you don't have to continue listening to my voice at the moment. But I do want you to know that I do go back in and I do kind of work these guys just a little bit darker each time. So I am constantly kind of going back and kind of altering the ones that I finished here a minute ago. My eight is really, really, really streaky. It's leaving weird lines. And so I'm trying to come back in at different angles to kind of make that a little bit of a smoother transition. And so that's seven, and this is six, and then I'm going to go five, four, three, two, kind of matching these if I can match those. So you can kind of see my seven is closer to this six. Um, but yeah, we're moving right along. And like I said, I'm going to pause this for a couple minutes and I'll come back.
have this pretty good, pretty well on there. I am going to now clean up my edges. I don't know if you noticed when I was doing, if I, first of all, if I use my hands to swipe this, I'm going to pick up that graphite and I'm going to move that graphite right back in the area that I just erased. Um, so what I could do is I could even take another piece of paper and I could lay that piece of paper down on my graphite like this and I could brush stuff off, but I need to make sure my fingers clean before I do that. Um, when I was separating these lines out, I didn't necessarily leave that line, but I did kind of create just kind of a, a value transition. So for my three, I left that edge lighter intentionally. I kind of darkened in that blue a little bit darker than it needs to be. I think I said blue, and I don't know why I said blue. But anyway, uh, this the line I left a little bit lighter. This line I kind of darkened in just a little bit. And so you see the differentiation between them. If you drew hard lines, that's fine too. Up to you. Um, I know it seems redundant that I make you do these over and over again. And some of you probably find it frustrating at this point. But every bit of practice we do, you know, this is like this is like basketball drills, this is like baseball drills or karate drills or whatever. You're just honing those skills and you're pushing those skills to the next level. So this right here is drawing number one. Each drawing, if you notice, this one took me 15 minutes. Um, actually, you might not notice that because I'm going to try to speed up the video when you get a hold of video. Um, but, you know, I've been doing this for a very, very long time and it still took me a good solid yeah, actually, 17 minutes, but I did talk for the first couple of minutes. Um, these do take time, and that's why I'm giving you plenty of time to do them. So, this is number one. I thought I'd give you a rundown of what's going on. Um, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to do drawing two, probably three, four. And, um, like I said, there's 20 total drawings. So um, each one, we're just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to demonstrate them this way too. So there you go.